the radiologist reviewing the conventional digital PA and lateral chest X-ray images for this patient commented that the portacath was in the appropriate position and noted the presence of a pulmonary granuloma in the right lower lobe and a pulmonary opacity in the left lower lobe of the lungs. The radiologist also observed mild multi-level degenerative change in the spine. Upon reviewing the soft tissue and bone dual energy images, the radiologist confirmed a mass in the left lower lobe, the calcified granuloma in the right lower lobe, and now questioned the possibility of a new right lower lobe mass, which was later confirmed using a CT scan. Previously, in the conventional X-ray image, the right lower lobe mass was missed because it was superimposed on a calcified joint. In the dual energy images, both the mass and calcified joint are visible on separate soft tissue and bone images, respectively. The radiologist commented on how clearly the portacath could be seen in the lateral dual energy bone image and highlighted the possibility of using the portable dual energy reveal X-ray device in a point of care setting. Example, bedside verification of the placement of lines and tubes inserted into patients in the intensive care unit. This case also highlights how the KA imaging reveal device enables the discovery of masses using lateral dual energy chest X-ray images. Lateral dual energy X-rays are not commonly obtainable using current two exposure dual energy systems because the patient would receive considerably higher radiation if two lateral chest exposures, one at 60 kVp and another at 120 kVp are given. For the reveal device, all six images were generated using only one exposure to obtain three PA images and only one exposure to obtain three lateral images. Both PA and lateral exposures were performed at an energy of 120 kVp that is typical for chest x-rays.